I kind of suspect that we're not going to have uh, open lawn again until spring. I could be wrong, but what you think, bud? It's supposed to be snowing here for the next Every time the wind comes by here, it blows these lids open. And I wish I had a way, like a bungee, a rubber band that would keep them closed, but allow them to open whenever the dump truck comes to pick it up. If you have a way to resolve that, let me know. Still a little warm, but it's going to be getting colder, no doubt about it. <clears throat> so... Let me talk to you guys about what my whole uh, major project uh, objective has been here. A couple big, big items is just that next summer, the biggest project we're gonna take on is expanding this awning. I'm not sure what to call it. This overhang shelter. We're gonna expand it into a usable space so that instead of it only being mm, eight feet from this concrete line to the wall, we're gonna expand that all the way out to at least that concrete line. So that'll be 16 feet at least. And that'll provide parking space, shelter storage space for a whole bunch of equipment, trucks and whatnot. But the biggest problem that I've got here is taking care of this loafing barn because I've got all this space here. Once I, you know, kind of organize these tractors and stuff, but all the space for all of my trucks, but I can't get them in here because of this damn concrete barricade they built <clears throat> right there, those driveways, there's two of them, and the barricade on each side of that. So, man, it's like, I need to get a, I need to get the concrete saw in here and I need to get the jackhammer. And I want to get the jackhammer with the skid steer on it to knock that all down. But then, I mean, it's going to be a mountain of material to move out of the barn. And I need what I need is a full-size dumpster, really. But I kind of want to send the recycling, all the concrete that I bust out, off to recycling. So that, I don't know, so they get use out of it. And then problem number two is I don't know to, how, to what extent, at least this section here, has rebar in it. I think this was built in the 50s. And until I get cutting into it, I don't really I won't really know. But that's kind of separate issues from this, but yeah, I am sure I can move it most of this material out with the John Deere, but just getting it busted up was what I've been trying to get to before winter set in, but unfortunately it's looking like that ain't going to happen. So, at least we got the chickens moved in here. <laughs> Leave them be. Would it? Come. Come on. <laughs> but anyway, it's all going to be fun. Welcome to winter at the Liberty Freedom Farm. <laughs> you like it here? Yeah. Not bad. Sweet. Oh, heck yeah. Sweet. That's the one we're looking for. Shoot. And like $30 cheaper than uh, Home Depot with the partway pointed tip. Very nice. Woo, a little spooky up in the clouds over the pass today. Now, one thing I suspect about this concrete is, I mean, being that it's 50 years, no, it was put in in the 50s, so 70 year old concrete. I suspect it is some of the strongest damn concrete you can imagine. Let's see how it takes to the hammer. Well, there you go, not too bad. Uh, 
I'm just, I can't imagine trying to do that all the way across this thing though. Just trying to kind of experiment and see how easily it's gonna to be to break that shit apart down the side there. Well, even the, even the ramp is busting apart pretty nicely. Just with some sledging and the San Angelo bar. Nice. Super thick though, good grief. But I'm really just mostly curious to see how that's gonna affect pulling that part out, you know? As soon as I can bust this back here a few more feet, then we'll try to break that wall away. And, you know, obviously concerned about how sound this footing is, both all the way across, supporting the entirety of the, of the barn here. But that's kind of why we're investigating this, because what I may end up having to do is just anchor back in, tie, tie back into those footings, some sort of a, a new concrete uh, thing back there. But one thing's for sure is that wasn't doing any good for it. It was completely separated from it. Same thing pretty much over here. So let's hope the whole barn doesn't cave in. Yeah, so this bar here. I used to live in Killeen, Texas, the hometown of the army base of Fort Hood. And not too far away from there is a little Texas town of San Angelo. And so I bought this bar, probably at Home Depot there, but even back there, they called it the San Angelo bar. It's probably a, got a different name everywhere you go, but it weighs probably 15, 20 pounds and it kicks ass. You got your chisel in, your point tip in. So if you got a different name for it where you're from, what is it? Then we're going to try to at least pull out that broken away part right there that's ready to go. And just see, you know, just get a head start on before we go rent the skid steer and jackhammer.
I need to switch over and go get the front bucket. Heck yeah, dude, now we're freaking talking. Look at that bad boy. A bit of snow coming down, not too bad. <laughs> nice. All right, cool, very nice. Ideally, we'll be able to bust it out in. Uh, larger pieces but I don't know it's time to wrap it up and call it a night and then before I have to turn that saw in tomorrow I'm gonna have to make a bunch of cuts around here so that could be a $200 learning experience that's not entirely uh, worth worth it because I really didn't have a solid plan <laughs> nice so you installed multiplayer and it uninstalled the um, whole game yeah so <laughs> Seriously, rented it five hours ago, have not even gotten to use it once. That's pretty cool. So anyways, <clears throat> haven't even gotten to use this thing, but doing all this by hand. The very first time I tried to start it up and use it, I was quite surprised that it started on the first pull. Easy. Let it sit over here and get warmed up for no more than a minute. And all of a sudden, pop, this thing goes flying off. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna have to get another one tomorrow. <laughs>